Good morning, welcome to Green TV for July 26, 2012. To my right is Cody Bills and I'm Brock Schimbino. The greens are in the red again after the overnight session. Let's turn over to Fire Tip for the live quotes. Old crop corn is down four and a half cents. Old crop beans down ten and three quarters. Wheat in Chicago down nine and three quarters. Kansas City wheat off five cents. Crude oil picking up about fifty-five cents this morning and the dollar index is off sharply for the second day in a row. The dollar index is important to pay attention to as we move forward here. We got the latest installment of the USDA's export sales report. Cody, what are we looking at? Well, export sales this morning were pretty bad for corn. We came in with net crop or net reductions here of 9,000 metric tons and 131,000 metric tons of reductions in the new crop. Beans was really, I, I thought it was pretty good to see, considering the price increases that we've uh, observed in the last couple weeks, uh, we came in right on par with uh, seasonal expectations, so right at 193,000 metric tons uh, and 517 for the new crop. Wheat was uh, 367, that was good to see over there. Uh, in terms of uh, corn and where we need to be to meet USDA expectations, we are well behind pace here. 42 million bushels behind pace to meet USDA uh, expectations and of course uh, we fell 10 million bushels since last week as a result of those reductions. Uh, if you look at beans, it's a completely different story. We're actually ahead of pace, 54 million bushels there. Uh, we had good sales, and uh, considering the high prices, you know, you'd really expect to see some of these sales uh, drift off. But we haven't seen really any any sort of real demand destruction in for these old crop beans uh, with these prices. So I think that's uh, that's very positive for uh, the bulls over in the bean complex. Now next month we uh, get the USDA's August report. Do you think we're going to see some uh, revisions to the beans and corn export sales? Yeah, if I uh, if I had to take a stab, I, I'd say that for corn we're going to see uh, reductions in export sales. I think that they're going to have to revise that forecast lower. For beans, I think it's a different story. They're going to have to revise it higher. Uh, but that's that's just uh, that's just speculation. That's my thoughts based on these export sales that we we've observed. You know, Cody, we've been in a weather-driven market over the last couple of weeks, uh, and really basically since the beginning of June. Uh, the market was really paying attention to weather this morning as we saw some fronts move across the Midwest. If you take a look at this map here provided by NOAA, you can see that we've had up to one inch in several different pockets of the Midwest. The area of concern though is actually going to be that southern Illinois, Indiana, and northern Ohio areas. We continue to see them miss on these storms that are moving across the Midwest. The inches that are actually needed to end some of this drought or alleviate the drought, you can see here on the lower map provided by Planalytics, we're up to about 10 to 12 inches of precipitation is needed for these areas. They're not getting any way in right now out of the system, so it's uh, you know kind of concerning that they continue to get missed as we move through this growing season. Yeah, I agree. And, and really, what we see up here, this is the observed precipitation in the last 24 hours. And this is, uh, down here, this is a map actually provided by Planalytics, the business weather intelligence company that we work very closely with. And this is the the inches that we need to, to beat the drought. And you can really see that, uh, I mean, the amount of precipitation that we're getting up here, though it's nice to see some precipitation, this isn't drought busting rain. So that's that's the big thing to take away from here. And uh, and, and we're going to be obviously looking, uh, looking forward, looking for improved forecasts here for the entire Midwest. But right now it doesn't look like we have that great of an outlook. Follow us on Twitter, at Grain TV is where you can find us. Check us out on Facebook, Facebook or you can get a hold of us at 877-472-4607.